Come on. I want the whole world, America and internet. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> it feels good, real good. I'm back. They wanna know. Professionally, I've been in the game probably like seven, eight years, but starting back, I've been doing hip hop since I was like forever. You know what I mean? Since elementary school, I've been doing my thing, hitting up stuff, battling people in the streets. You know, just killing it. Like, you know, I've been doing my thing. Everybody knows. Big, it's a big difference because it's like right now music is like, like back then, as far as the music is concerned, it's a big difference because back then you could get a, you could get a big deal and you know what I mean, you could run with it, money could push you harder. And the same thing here, but you don't need that major, major label push, that major label influence as much as you once did back in the day. Right now the internet opened the game to a whole lot of new avenues, a whole lot of, you know what I mean, things like right now you can put a song and make it go viral and it's worldwide you know what i mean instead of just going to your local radio station and just let it be known in new york so it's a, it's a whole lot of ways that the game can change from then and now the, the album take me away is nominated at the underground music awards for mixtape album of the year it was crazy we did real good numbers on it we Pushed it real hard. Big shout out to the whole cash administration. We did our thing. It was a good look. It was a good look. The love of hip hop. That's the, that's the, that's that's really like you know, the most thing that can keep you motivated. The love of hip hop and that and and, and what another thing that keep me motivated is that I'm real. I'm really that that nice with it. So you know, if I wasn't. Hell with it, I wouldn't even be doing it right now. But I love hip hop. Hip hop is me, and I am hip hop. And you know what I mean? I love what I do, and I love the way I do it. I don't think it's a lot. I think what I got, what I got to offer, the world needs to hear. So I'm gonna keep giving it to them until the world. Listens. Of course, not 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 like that, but. Sometimes you get frustrated with what comes in this game. I'm sure all, all the superstar artists in this game have, you know what I mean? They, they've got frustrated. The path, the path seems bleak. You know what I mean? It seems like this, it seems like that. But when, when I feel frustrated, that, that makes me go harder. That makes me like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing something wrong or something, so it makes me go harder. But of course you get those 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 thoughts of, yo, is it this? Is it, you know what I mean? What What's really going on? But I don't really pay too much attention to that. I, I ain't no quitter. I go hard. And if the album's doing good, a lot of things that I'm doing doing good. I'm getting a lot of pluses, and it's, it's, it's a lot of progress going on. So I can't complain about nothing. So nah, I ain't really thinking about doing nothing that that's gonna involve quitting and giving up. Nah. Nah, that's a shot's real inspirational right there. Alright, so yo, let me, um, we're gonna play a little game for a second. Um, I'm gonna throw some names at you, and you say the first word that comes to your mind. Gotcha. Alright, P. Diddy. Hey. <laughs> the man. Wow. <laughs> I would say, uh, I would say, uh, Nicki. Nicki Minaj. It sounds like you want to say those words yeah, for when I'm, you I'm see it. Two words, sexy and original. Up. So, um, matter of fact, speaking of hip hop, what's the hip hop scene on, on the West Coast? We know you be all, all, all over the country. Yeah, uh, the hip hop scene on the West Coast is dope, man. Like, I, I was in, I was driving up in, at the a car wash the other day, and I saw Nipsey. He was chilling. I uh, met up with uh, Big Shot the Jail Felony, uh, uh, Shug. I even met up with Shook Knight out there. 
the, the West Coast scene is a little different from the East Coast scene, but it's a little bit more flamboyant, more gangster, more straight up in your face. You know what I mean? New York, we more lyricists and more know about the world in general. It's two different coasts, so it's real different. But I love the West Coast. Like that's like a second home to me right now. And, you know, you know, I'm out there right now, so I just love it. I fell in love with it. But you know, New York is always home base, and it always what it is. We, where we at right now is my home, and I ain't never going nowhere. My spirit it always going to dwell here, bro. Yes, yes, yes. We actually, we actually working on that right now, like doing a little bit of acting classes and just slowly making a, a transition to that, to that stage. So yeah, you're gonna see Cashmere doing a little bit of acting. All right, so yeah, Cashmere. Um, I was interviewing this certain artist. I don't want to say no name. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And he said that if he didn't get where he had to go after a certain age, that he would quit. If it ain't working at a certain age, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like that I, I, I would say that, that that's his opinion, that's what he's going through. I don't I don't really know what he's going through. That's that's a personal thing, but for me, man, like I'm doing my thing, man. I'm young, I'm I'm, I'm good, you know what I mean? I've been in the game, see for me, I, I came in the game young, like I came in the game like when I was like 17, like professionally, 18, 19, you know what I mean? So People, people think because I've been in the game long that I'm, you know what I mean, older than some dudes, but that's not the case, man. I'm doing my thing, but if you if you running into some brick walls or some barricades in the game, man, I, I suggest you just say a prayer and keep it moving, especially when you know you got the talent and you know what you're doing, you know what I mean, get some advice. Just go hard, man, go hard, and if you good at what you do, somebody, they gonna see it, they gonna see it, so just go hard and do what you gotta do and everything gonna be good, but, you know? You gotta be, you know, there's a lot of people in hip hop that just doing hip hop just to make money. You gotta be good at what you're doing. I mean, you might be here today, but you know where you're gonna be tomorrow. So go hard, keep God in your, keep God on your mind, soul, and body, and do what you gotta do, and you'll be alright. You'll be alright. It ain't good hip hop. People say it's hard, but that's because they got high expectations. You know what I mean? I got high expectations too, but I'm willing to go through the progress to get where I gotta go. So. Just, 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 just stand still, be patient, you're gonna be good, man. Especially if you're nice at it, you're gonna be just right. That's my advice to people like that's, that's thinking like that. give y'all the stuff that I'm prepared to give y'all and I'm the type of artist that, that I want to take it to the next level 
from what I did before. I'm not gonna do what I did before. I'm not gonna do the same thing the next or the next go round. So I'm the type of artist that I wanna see what type of direction I'm, I wanna go. I wanna see what type of mind state I am, what type of phase of life I'm in. So I could, uh, you know what I mean, give my fans that been following me, that's buying the album, that's buying the single, what they want, you know what I mean, and exactly what they want. So that's probably why I don't wait for the new material. But I've been touring, I've been, I've been working. I'm, I'm working on three, three projects right now as we speak, so. Which one? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on a, a project that's real sick. Big shouts to Daniel Goodyear. Uh, who else? Everybody that's helping, the whole cash administration, but I'm working on a new mixtape album, The Game Is Mine, which is gonna be free download. You know what I mean? We got a lot of good little beats on there. You know what I mean? So it's, a, it, it, it's, it's big, it's big. You know what I mean? The Game Is Mine is coming real soon. It should be here real soon. You think it's gonna be for free download for all my fans that support to take me away. I wanted to give y'all something free that was real street, real. I'm bringing it back on that. There's a mixtape album, so I'm bringing it back to the Brooklyn. Yo, Brooklyn can't be on that in a new, in a new way, you know what I mean, a new fresh way, so, you know. To make a statement, I feel like, you know what I mean, like, gonna take me away, I explain myself to all my fans that knew me and to my fans that just was getting to know me, like, it was like a testimonial thing of who I am and, 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 and what I did and where I'm going with everything, so. I just wanted right now, like I feel, I feel good. I feel ready to, to bang. So I wanted to come out saying the game's mine. And the material that I started recording was so hot and so, so, so raw and so in your face and so up, up close with it that it just, I was like, yo, I gotta name this the game's mine. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let them know that I'm coming hard and I'm coming for my title. I ain't trying to be the, the, the biggest. I'm trying to be the biggest artist in the game, but. Nobody's gonna be better than me because nobody can do what I do. You know what I mean? I'm the best at what I do. So, you know what I mean? I'm the best. Oh, we working. Ain't nothing happening to that. Actually, we, we finished with the um, first one. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's ready to go. Actually, y'all gonna get that like right around the same time y'all get the game is mine. And then we got a nothing but the freestyles part two dropping with DJ E Nice. Big shouts to him. We spoke. You know what I mean? We spoke over Twitter. We got nothing but the freestyles, two dropping. So we dropping those three, and then I'm gonna be working on my next album, you know what I mean? Which is gonna be real big, but the Avatar series is gonna be heavy, like, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like real, 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 real crazy. It's gonna be stupid, so I really had to work. I really wanted to get, you know what I mean? For those that know about the Avatar and stuff like that, I really, and me being from Brooklyn, I wanted to mesh the two worlds to not alienate my fans, so. I really worked hard on that. When y'all get that, that's gonna be crazy. So you know, what I mean, don't worry. That part one water is coming real soon. Right okay. after that game. Okay. Okay. Oh, you already know. That's what, what, what we are preparing for, man. That's that's everything we preparing for. This, the next album, man. I'm about to give y'all the title and everything, man. So that's what we looking forward to right now. The next album. That's what all the game is mine is about to hit y'all. The Avatar series about to hit y'all. The nothing but the three shells part two is about to hit y'all. That's why that's coming because it's preparing the debut album. So y'all gonna hear a big single from it. It's gonna be crazy, man. The big single is a tribute to somebody that's big in hip hop. I'm not even gonna give away all of it, but we coming, we coming hard. Uh, right, right now, Wolfman Jack, of course. Uh, uh, we got a lot of uh, a lot of in-house producers, man. I, I work with my boy Wolfman Jack. Uh, hopefully, I'm trying to get something with Jaleel B. Uh, who else? It's a lot of producers, man. A lot of producers I'm working with. Grown uh, Man Music, a uh, uh, Breezy and Y, a uh, uh, Claw. Like we got a lot of producers that we working with, man. A lot of producers, man. I'm trying to get something from the Heat Makers. I'm trying to move and groove, man. But the album, I'm working on the album as we speak, so y'all should just be. Be on the lookout and be ready for it, because it's going to be strong, strong in the last one. Y'all know how I do, man. We coming hard. TCA all day. All right, we'll be on the lookout for that. Cashmere in East New York, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Go get that album. Take me away. Check me out on um, Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash BK Cashmere. Facebook, all that, man. Y'all know it's going to have it up here right after the interview. So Word up. Get out of here. BrooklynWist.com. One.